everything today is going to be one-on-one -on -one principles. Um, there's definitely a time for zone, but we're not going to be working on that today. Um, and the last thing before we talk about the habits is the mentality of defense. So what, how do you want your kids to play defensively? Sorry? Hard. Hard, yeah? Anything else? Yeah, 100% hard, effort, all those things. So sometimes that needs to be defined for this age group. So we talk about the four no's. I sold this from the Chicago Bulls. So the first no is no layups. We never give up layups. And that's always an effort thing. Like, let's take that away. The second thing the Chicago Bulls use are no open threes. But we might adjust that to no uncontested shots. Next one is no offensive rebounds. And that leads into our boxing out. And the last one is no silly fouls. Who's had foul trouble this year? Yeah, I've had 20 fouls every single game this season. And game one and two, I said, God damn those refs. God, they're bad. But then I watched the game back and it's foul, foul, foul. So when you watch it back, it's like, hmm, maybe it's just those habits. So I think it's a bit of both because the refs haven't refed in two years, but we haven't played in two years as well. So I think we've got to take on what we can take on and control the things we can control. Um, so the habits... I believe that we need to develop. Number one, collision management. I talk about this at the Bulls heaps because children out now just play basketball. Not a lot of them play basketball, rugby, soccer, cricket, whatever. Uh, you might have a few multi-sport athletes, but a lot just kind of stand still. So we need to practice taking contact. Next one's closeouts. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Guarding the first bounce, box outs, hand pressure and foot pressure, and stance. And then we'll break down all of those today. Um, we won't talk too much about team defense. We'll get right into it so you can see some drills and take stuff away. So we'll start with collision management. Um, within this, it's just getting them used to taking contact. So a thing we did with my group this year before we started is we practiced um, popping balloons before we went on court, which sounds a bit silly, but a lot of um, young women, which is the age, gen age and gender I coach, aren't good with taking a lot of contact. So we started off with something light, uh, and then we built it up to a bit stronger. So here's one warm-up game we do uh, maybe every three practices. I'll get the girls. Um, stand up, no ball, no ball. Stand up with a partner. All right, you're just going to go to halfway and back. You're going to be jogging next to each other with your partner. And one person's out, that's fine. You're going to jog next to each other, jump as high as you can, hit each other on the shoulder, and land soft. Can you two demonstrate? So a couple, like three steps. Yeah, jump into each other. Jump into each other. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see it. Three steps. Cool. Now, how did they take contact? I'm not making fun of you. All good. Not, not a lot of contact, right? So this is your chance. And I talked about it before. You can, like, bash each other up a bit here. So get your own space. You're going halfway and back. You've got to hit each other. You're landing soft in motor motorbike stance. Just go halfway and back. Here we go. So you can see the ones that love like getting hit or like hitting, and some don't as well. Cool, when we're running back, same thing. Let's go hit each other. Couple bumps. Good, good, good. Little bumps, good, good. Okay, so that's kind of level one of contact, and you can you can adjust that to your team. This is level two. I need two tough people. Okay, one, two. Thank you. What was your name again? Alyssa and Priya, cool. Um, face halfway, face the baseline, back to back. All right, this is box out, tug of war. This is where we get, to little, get a little bit more contact. So Priya's trying to push, push Alyssa to the green line. Alyssa's trying to push Priya to this green line. You've got to be in stance. You're not allowed to use your hands. Ready, go. This is game number two. You can see a couple of smiles on the baseline. It's fun too. Come on, push each other. Five, four, three... I will right, we'll call Priya the winner. Give her a clap. Pretty good. Pretty good. So you can start to adjust that. Last one uh, is my favourite. So we've played Animal before. Do we have another name for Animal? What do we call it? Yeah. Jungle Ball. Okay, so we're going to play a, a change on Jungle Ball I stole from Twitter. That's unreal and it just changes the game a little bit. So we need three lines, elbow, split line, elbow, and one ball. Quick, quick, let's go. Alright, so if you haven't played Animal or Jungle Ball before, 
You're allowed to foul. Girls, you're allowed to foul with your chest, but not with your hands. So you can wall up, you can bump them. It's one on one on one, and we just keep going to get a score. We're going to go first team to score four. Now we'll just have a quick demo around. So it goes in, we chase after the ball and try and score. Okay, cool. It went in. You are sprinting out like a relay to high five, high five our partner, and next person would be in. Just one. So if you get out, you're in. Everyone else keeps going until they're out. All right, first three, we're ready. We're going to go first team to four. Losing team goes up and back. Ready, set, go. So we'll set. We're going to let him go to four. Good. Foul with your chest. Foul with your chest. Here we go, quick, foul with your chest. So we can already see the people who don't like want yeah, contact. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and so this is something we've got to build into practice and yeah, it's like a fun drill with no offensive fundamentals, but they're getting used to getting hit. And we need to practice that all the time. I might give them a quick freeze there. Okay, freeze girls. Let's lift the physicality of the game up like 10%. If you're in the lines, how can you help that? Yeah, you're like, yeah, get it. Get it with your chest. Okay, here we go. Ready? Go. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Quick. We're going to four. No outs. Get it, get it. Here we go. Play on, play on, play on. We're going to go next score wins. Here we go. Next score wins. All right, game there. Other two teams go full court and back. Hard as you can. All right, just need uh, two people out and then everyone else on the baseline. I just want to get them running a bit because it's cold Friday night. All right, I need two people out. Cool, just two. Awesome, everyone else can sit down. We need a ball as well. So our, that's our first progression and it was just a couple kind of tasters for collision management. Now we're going to talk about um, stance, hand and foot pressure and wall ups. And we'll go through some drills and progressions we can work on there. So firstly, anyone coach under 12s, 14s? So this, is, this first one is appropriate for them. So a lot of children need the why behind what they're going to do. Who wants to be silly? Alyssa, thank you, come out here. Throw the ball to Priya. So we do this all the time with under 12s, just to get them used to it. So, Alyssa, I want you to jump, but without bending your knees or ankles. As high as you can, don't bend your knees. Yeah, I know. Jump as, just don't bend your knees or ankles and jump, go. All right, so pretty hard, right? So he, jump as high as you can now, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so we play this game with 12s and 14s to show them why they need stance. Because if they play with straight knees, straight ankles, that's what ends up happening. And you might do this three times a season just to refresh it in their mind. Now, in terms of stance, your point of geography is can... Thanks, Priya. Um, can you get your knee hand over your kneecap? That's all you need to do. Uh, probably back in the day, coaches are like down in the chair, but it's not really easy to move like that. So, hand over knee. Cool, Priya, don't leave us. Cool. Okay, next one, we're talking about um, hand and foot pressure. So... Our ball pressure, generally speaking, is hand over ball. We'll just show that quickly. Can you show hand over ball distance? Cool. And what um, has Alyssa forgot to do already? Stance. So we want to get into stance balls of our feet, look like a basketball player. Okay, and that's going to be our kind of touch distance. Last bit is a wall up, something we want to quickly define, and the glossary is all on the back. But a wall up is after we've had a live dribble and it's been picked up. So dribble it, pick it up. From there, we want to get into a wall up position, and you've probably all seen this before, but we want to build a tall wall and a wide wall as well, please. Now, coaches, let's coach. What do we think? Yeah, so we want elbow, yeah, foul. Elbows to ear, pull your elbows to your ear. Okay, and we want that wall to be as wide as possible. Yeah, perfect, that's a great wall up. Now, the job, and the hardest thing to do is get here to your ears. So that is a no foul in our league. Put your hands back where they were, where it's comfortable. That's a foul in our league, and that's how it's been officiated this year. So we just got to be really good at locking it back. And it's not very comfortable, is it? 
No. Cool. First game, so this is just to show what we expect defensively. We're calling it Cordian Slides. Uh, match up on the baseline. Uh, Alyssa, you've got the ball uh, in the corner. Alyssa, you've got the ball. Priya, you're playing defense, but flip it around the other direction so coaches can see. Perfect. Okay. Face, no, no, no. You're good. Face me, Priya. Face that way, Alyssa. And then match up. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Priya, you're on defense. Alyssa is trying to break the train track. So uh, Alyssa might step to her left or step back to her right. Priya's job is to keep her nose in line with the ball. Now, Alyssa, you're her coach, so you've got to make sure she's in stance. So you bring the ball down where you want her stance to be. How low do you think it should be? Are you happy? Yeah, maybe a bit lower. And then Priya, we're down on the balls of our feet. Girls, make sure your feet are tucked in. All right, you've got from the sideline and back, and you're trying to break the train tracks. Go. Good, keep going, keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, put the ball over. Ready, set, go. Okay, freeze. What do we notice as coaches? What are some things defensively? A lot of feet crossing. So why don't we want to cross our feet? Cool. So there are some times where we cross our feet, and coaches talk about never cross your feet, but when you're side running, sometimes your feet cross. But in this half court, we want to try and keep our feet across. The thing you want to think is leap to keep. So if Priya's out here, I'm guarding her. Instead of the old big, bigger, biggest, it's leap to keep. So if Priya goes this way, I jump, and I bounce on my feet. If she goes that way, I jump. But it's just nice and quick and low. So let's try again, but leap to keep. Leap to keep. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Good. Stay in front. Already a bit better. Stay in front. Good. Quick. Five, four, three, two, one. Flip it over. Here we go. Six, five, three. Okay, good. Good job. Okay, I'll need... Um, Everyone with a partner or a group of three at both wings, please. One ball between two. All right, so there's our stance. Now we're going to work on the wall up. This one's old school. Oh, um, can we get a, ho a hoodie per partnership as well? Quick. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, so we're playing towels one-on-one. -on -one. We usually do this with towels, but hoodies work for tonight. So Alyssa's got her heels on the three-point line. Priya's going to be on offense. Alyssa needs to hold a wall up with her hoodie. Okay, now this is a really, <laughs> this is a really hard drill for defense and a toughness drill. So we always count stops in this game, not scores, because defense is at a uh, disadvantage. So Priya, you just start with a bounce on the spot and that starts the drill and then you're attacking downhill. The constraint for offense is you can't take more than two bounces in one direction. So if you go right, two bounces, you have to cross over, then you can go left, or you can go right, one, cross over, left, one. But if you do three in one direction, that's a turnover. Defensively, we're working on our wall up and trying to get chest blows. Okay, let's see that once. Good, good, keep going, keep going. Good, next two in, next two in. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Keep those elbows to ears. Next, next. All right, let's keep going. We'll go first to two scores. What do we notice? Coming straight down. And part of this is like physical development. They're at the age where this is really hard for them to do because they've got to activate their lats and their core, and that's really hard to do when they're running. So this is where that holistic development model we're talking about inside comes, in, like, comes into play. Like, are they physically strong enough to do this? And at practice, can we spend two minutes playing one-on-one -on -one like this and building in those habits? Here we go, first to two. I like it, I like it, here we go. First to two, first to two. Good, here we go. Ooh. Good, here we go, next one. Two gate, two there, okay, freeze there. 
All right, so that's one of the wall-up series we can do. What are some things you would have coached within that? I don't want to stop too much tonight. Any things you would have coached within those drills? Yeah, not a lot of chest blows, so we could probably stop there, but obviously because it's a clinic, I want to keep rolling. The other thing I think was the stance started to fall away, and that's those habits. So you've got to be on them all the time, every, every scrimmage, every drill. Are you in stance? Did you box out? Did you get a chest bump? Are you playing hard? But pretty good job because it's a new drill. Um, hoodies can go down, but you need a partner. Cool, so our next progression is called the Paul Goris Ball Pressure Series. So that's the ex-Canberra Capitals coach, and now he's over with the Atlanta Dream, I believe. Uh, and this is something they just do for two minutes at the beginning of every practice with the Canberra Capitals. It's like a toothbrush drill. So it should only take 15 seconds per progression, and we're just working on some habits. So get um, your own space so the coaches can see each matchup. Okay, first we just want to talk about applying ball pressure. Now, what was your name? Olive. Okay, now if I'm guarding Olive and she's in stance in an old triple threat, I've got hand over ball. If she brings the ball above her head, I want to get into a stick position. So I get a little closer with a dig hand under. So if she brings it down, I can pop it out. Just come and demonstrate that. So we're just going to practice going from triple threat to above head. Back to triple threat, back to above head. Now the skill we've got to get great at is the leap. Leap to keep. So if I'm guarding Olive and she's, I'm in stick, put the ball up. I'm in stick when she, watch out, when she brings it down, I'm jumping back into the gap and I've got hands distance. Okay, we're going to go 10 seconds each partner. Ready, set, go. Nine, eight, jump back, jump back, seven, six, jump back, five, four, three, two, one, good, flip it. Now when we jump back, it's not this, because then they're just going past you in transition. It's a quick hop, so if the ball's up, ball's up, bring it down, Hop back and I'm in stance. Here we go. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Let's try and make our leaps more, a bit more athletic. Come out here, please. What's your name? Zoe. Zoe. Okay. Now, when I'm guarding Zoe, we want to practice guarding the active foot. And what I mean by that is if this is Zoe's pivot foot, keep that down. That's going to be her active foot. Now, can you put your active foot forward? Now, we only ever have to guard this foot because if she moves her pivot foot, it's a travel. So I just have to guard this. If Zoe steps over there with her pivot foot, I guard that. If she steps back, I guard that. And that's all I have to watch and guard. Now, we're going to play 10 seconds of guarding the pivot foot. Offensively, you get a point if you can step past your defender. Okay, otherwise there's no points. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Good, here we go. You can start to see they're losing their ball pressure gap. So when they step forward, they're getting closer. So we just want to keep on them about jumping in the gap. And some are better than others at it. Good, flip it over. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Nine. Six, Not bad. Keep going. Three, two, one. Okay, easy there. Now, we're going to build into the bounce. And guarding the first bounce is the hardest thing to do in basketball. If you can guard two, you're an elite defender. Now, there is a little bit of guessing, but realistically, we want to jump back into the gap, but maintain our distance. So I'll show you what I mean if Priya's guarding me. And she dribbles to her right, and I jump to the side, I give up a foul, or I give up a blow by. So when she dribbles to her right, I need to jump back into the gap, but keep my hand pressure on the ball. Okay, you'll have a 10 second game. In that 10 second game, you can go triple threat, you can go ball above head, what would happen there? What do we call that position? We call that stick. So above we go into stick, below we jump into the gap. You can also take one bounce in that 10 seconds. You can only bounce it to your left hand in this game to make it a bit easier for defense. Okay, ready? Set, go. Seven. Oh, got to jump back, Zoe. Good. Flip it over. Here we go. Who can get a chest bump? Who can get a chest bump? Good.
Good game, freeze there. Uh, who's someone who had um, lots of fouls in one of their games this year? More hands fouls or blocking fouls? <laughs> you name it, you got it. I, I feel like this year... Oh, did anyone else have another answer? You got everything? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the way the game's moving is protect ball handler, so any hand foul they look for. You can get away with murder, though, with your chest. Okay, so girls, when we're playing, you can foul with your chest. You probably get away with it more, but as soon as your hands drop, we're going to go foul. The person with the ball needs to call that, and you've got to make fun of them. So, Olive's guarding me. And Olive goes past me, and I put my hands down and do this. She needs to yell out, foul! Okay, can you do that? Yeah. Really loud. Ready? Foul! Yeah, you've got to make fun of them. Ha, ha, foul. Okay, so what we're looking for is in stance. Olive goes past me. Show my hands. Get back in the gap. That's a perfect rep. We're going to go 10 more seconds each. If someone fouls, all the coaches need to know. Ready? Set. Go. Good, good, good. Good, way better. Look at those hands. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Yeah, you tell them, Olive. Four, three, two, one. Good. All right, last progression we'll move on from here is can you guard two bounces? You have one to right or left and then a counter. Now, we want a multi-skill here because we don't have time to work on everything. So, your counters can be between the legs or behind the back, but not in front. You get a point if on your first bounce, Zoe guard me. If your first bounce is past them, point to offense. If your first bounce is in front of them, point to defense. You have two bounces. How many points can you get per go? How many points can you get per go if there's two bounces? You can get two total points. We're going first to 10. Now you flip over each go. So one goes on O, and then the next one. Ready, set, go. Good, try and beat them. Try and beat them. First to 10, here we go. Good, freeze there, freeze there. If you foul and the defense calls it no cheating, you go back to zero. So we've got to show our hands again. Here we go. Okay, game there. Nice job. Uh, I need a match up in the corner and everyone else can have a break. So we're going to talk about closeouts, uh, box outs and guarding the first bounce now. And here's another progression. Obviously, you can make so many changes to this. So don't think what I'm doing here is the only way to do it, but take bits that you need. So we're going to go through the three closeouts and I, um, I realise that the three athletes I'm going to name are male. Um, I recognise that. So what I've done with my my 16 goals group this year is we named the closeouts ourselves and we went out and looked for WNBA and WNBL players um, who were good shooters and who were poor shooters and we named them after that. But for clarity's sake, we'll use NBA players. They're probably the most recognisable. So, um, what was your name? Layla, under the hoop, please. Cool. All right. So our three types of closeout. Now, do you know who Steph Curry is? Okay, so start with the ball underneath. I want you to throw it out and close out like a Steph Curry. Oh, go again. So I'm going to rewind. You're going to throw the ball out. You're going to close out, but like that Steph Curry. So how would you close out Steph Curry? Yeah, as hard as you can. Okay, here we go. Cool. So we're calling that a Curry close out. That's what we're using our shooters, non-drivers. Rewind. This is a hard one. Do you know who Rajan Rondo is? Okay, he's a terrible shooter. Okay, so how would you close out to a bad shooter? Cool, let's see how you close out to a bad shooter. So I, I personally would give more, probably more gap than that. What you can do is throw your hands to make it look like you're going to jump, but stay low. So as you throw it out, ball, stay low, give a gap. Let's see that again. So these are our rondo closeouts. Oh, go, go, a little bit more gap, only because the coaches need to see a perfect one. Give two arms distances. Here we go. Good, okay, not bad. Now our last one, do you know who Kevin Durant is? Okay, what's he good at? 
What's Kevin Durant good at? Everything. Everything. So these are when we have our unicorns, where we have girls or guys who are scoring heaps in a game. It's the hardest to do. So we're giving a lane and we're taking a lane. So as we throw it out, this is our superstar. If I close out straight up, really hard, blow by, if I give space, bang three, what I want to do is put some indecision in their head. So as I close out, I'm going to give a lane to make it look like it's going to drive and then jump into the lane. This is the hardest one to do. So it looks like this at speed. Give a lane, take a lane. Okay, and put a little bit of indecision in their head. So there are three closeouts. Let's see them each once. Ready? Curry. Good. Great job. Go again. Rondo. Good. Let's give more gap on our Rondo. Think of that bad shooter. Like, she shoots it, it's air ball. Like, goes out of the stadium. Give heaps of space. Rondo. Yeah, not bad. Last one. KD. This is the hard one. Give a lane, take a lane. Good. Not bad. Give her a clap. That's pretty good memory. Great job. All right, so we're going to drill that now. We're going to have play one-on-one -on -one from the corner. Offense is going to call what closeout. So you can say Rondo, you can say KD, or you can say Curry. They're your three uh, places. We're going to play from the corner, the top, and the corner, and you have two bounces in your one-on-one -on -one game. Do you have any questions? All right, let's get playing so the coaches can see. Here we go. As soon as you're ready, pass is under the hoop. Here we go. Quick. Passes under the hoop. Scores on the three-point line. One-on-one. -on -one. You have two bounces and you call the closeout. Cool. Here we go. Just three people, uh, three groups going. So one group, two group, one in the corner, everyone else off. Too slow. Here we go. Good. Good. Here we go. You got to call which closeout it is, Priya. Good. Here we go. Next. Ah, uh, freeze there. Everyone come in. Five, four, three. Quick, 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 quick. Who's the clinic for? You or the coaches? Okay, so you've got to do everything really well. Now, you don't have to make all your shots. What do you have to do in this drill? Close out and call what? What type of close out it is. So let's make it really loud so they can hear. Curry, Rondo, KD, yeah. If we say curry, do they have to shoot? Yeah, well, no, curry is just close out really close. And Rondo is close out really far. And KD, just give a lane, take a lane. Yes. 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 Okay, here we go. Sorry. Had some confusion. Here we go. Cool. Here we go. Next one. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Next two. Next two. Here we go, next, next, next. Good, good, good. Now one um, rule we put in with our group this year uh, and with the 16 state team is any backside rotation, so split line or um, you know the sinker, they're always doing rondo closeouts on the backside because that's where you get killed in juniors. Isn't kick out threes, it's kick out redrives. So we're always rondoing anytime the ball crosses the split line. Okay, well game there, that's all good. Have a have a seat. Have a seat. We'll go one more progression because I'm losing them, it's too late. Uh, last bit is we're gonna go through box outs. Um, I think it's the most important, and if you talk about your four no's, how you win games in junior basketball is offensive rebounds. That's the key to it. Can you offensive rebound the ball? You'll get so many more possessions, you get way more foul calls, you force referees to make calls. So if you want your team to be good offensively, O-boards, if you want them to be good defensively, box out. Okay, so uh, two demonstrators. Someone new, two new ones. Quick, quick, come on. Thank you. Quick, quick. Cool, so we'll just go through the uh, technique of a box out. There's different ways to teach it, but I think look, hit, get works the best. What I mean by that is under the hoop on the three point line. Okay, now, don't, don't crush, just stay here, don't move. Now, if I shoot, okay, and the person doesn't crash, 
There's no need to box out. So as soon as the ball rises, we're looking at if they're crashing. Now, what was your name? Zali. Okay, if Zali just stays on the three-point line, what would you probably do? Yeah, where do you think the rebound's going to go? If, if Zali's shooting it. Yeah, so statistically about 80% of shots miss long. They rebound on the long side. So if there's no contact, just sprint to the long side and get it. Okay, that's our look. Now, what happens if Zali crashes? Okay, now when we box out, we want a T hit. So instead of the old box out where we're putting our back, you want your forearm to her chest. So we'll go a little closer so there's not too much contact. Rewind. So shot's going to go up. Try and get an offensive rebound. Try and get a box out. Good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Good. Okay, go again. If you, um, Zali, if you can get this offensive rebound, Miko owes you 50 bucks. If you get this one. Okay? Here we go. Get it, get it. 50 bucks. So, why didn't you rebound like that before? So the most important thing to coaches is can you offensive rebound? So when we're doing these games, make it really hard. Every time, 50 bucks, O board, okay? Now, defensively, what could we change? Which part of your body did you make contact with? Let's do that again. I want you to make hard contact with your arm. Okay, and I want you to push Zali up. Push her away from it. Ready? Go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Good, so again, there's that collision management. She doesn't really want to hit her. Who, who likes like hitting someone? Oh, who, who's that? Who's th All right, come out of here. You didn't do a bad job. I just need real physical here. Okay, if she gets the ball, I'm going to be mad. Cool. All right, here we go. Here we go. Go, go, go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. You didn't hit her. Go again. Okay, Miko, can I borrow your body? I'm not going to go hard. So as the ball goes up, forearm into chest, push up, go get the ball. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry. Are you guys mates? <laughs> not for long. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, good, good. So just the displacement's a little better. So girls, that's what we expect in our box outs with our form. Now we're going to put it into a game situation. So uh, two girls in white on the blocks, two girls in black on the elbows. Here we go, here we go. Block, block in white, block, block uh, elbow, elbow in black. Are you going to be white for this game? All right, so first one, you've definitely seen this before. This is just building up those habits before we make it live. Because if we progress too quickly, they'll start to forget it. So. You're only allowed to box out you. You're only allowed to box out you. If the ball bounces, defense gets a point for each bounce. So one, two, three. But if offense gets it, all those points go away. So you might take a bit of a risk. Like you might let it bounce one and then get it. But if you think offense is going to get it, you just got to go grab it. If you get an offensive rebound, you get a chance to play defense. Okay, we'll go first group to three. Here we go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good, so was that one bounce? Yeah, let's go again. Good, so it's one to that team. Got to get an offensive rebound to play. Here we go. Good, get it, get it, get it. Oh, two. Good, here we go. Here we go. Good, here we go. So flip it now. Good, here we go. Good, try and let it bounce, let it bounce, good, good ball, you get to go again. See if you can let it bounce. So, how could you make it so that the ball can bounce? Yeah, really hard, like step back, try and let it bounce in front of you one time. Here we go, last one. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, O board, nice job. All right, I need four players, four black, uh, wing, seam, seam, wing, and then four not black, elbow, oh no, four non-black in the middle. All right, so this is going to show you why we need to work on the habits. So we're going to just make this game like now. Um, watch who boxes out, watch who's able to get to, get into stance. All right, so ball's over with coach. You're circling up. Now, while you circle up, you're going to think about 
who you might need to box out. So as you're circling up, you might point at the person you're boxing up, boxing out. Now when the shot goes up, you're crash, you're boxing out, you're trying to get an offensive rebound. You only get points for offensive rebounds in this game. But if you get a defensive rebound, you get to go to offense. Any questions? All right, circle up. Circle up, no, no, no. so you gotta move in a circle. Here we go, go, there we go. Think about how you're gonna box, go. Go, go, get it, get it, get it, get it. Play, good, here we go, next game, flip it over. Here we go. Here we go, circle up, circle up, circle up. Good, quick, quick, there you go, here we go. Was that an offensive rebound or defensive rebound? Offensive, okay. Two points of offense. Now, Freeze, our communication discipline is not great here. So, as we're circling, maybe point or call the name of the person you're boxing out so everyone knows who we're getting. Okay. Cool? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Good, get it, get it, get it. Good. Wow, O board again. Here we go. Let's go, defense. Here we go, here we go. Good, here we go. So this is where we talk about our look, hit, get. What are they trying to do straight away? Right now. They're, well, what are, they, what are they doing right now? They're, try, they're trying to get right now. They're trying to box before they look, though. So what's the most important thing in the game? The box out or getting the ball? So let's go get the ball. You only need to box out if a player's coming your direction. Okay, here we go. Circle up. Good, flip it over, flip it over, here we go. Blacks on the inside. Let's see if you get no board on this one. Good, okay, nice job. 